Good morning. This is Warrior Princess with your collective reading. And today is Friday. The first card I pulled is the Queen of Diamonds. Well, Queen of Hearts, I'm sorry. Warrior Queen. See, y'all got me. It's going to take some you getting used to with the Warrior Queen. Responsibility to nature. She holding that bow. Flowers. We all need have that responsibility to nature. Take care of nature. Getting out into nature. Constancy. It's a constant effort. You know, it's not a do now and forget about. It's constant. Constancy. Pull the e the the AWAS card. Stability. Move forward carefully. It's a steady progress. Harmony, teamwork, trust, and loyalty. And this card also represents the lovers, partnership, union, and duality. And, you know, teamwork, of course, goes in taking care of nature, loyalty, harmony, and it's a state of progress. Constant, you know, it's got to be a, a constant effort. Why <laughs> I like this card. The Eight of Clubs. So if movement to create stability. Because this is one of the cards that always come out. And it, all it is is we get wrapped up moving. And we just sometimes we start moving too fast is all. And we just have to remember to slow down. That's all. Just a friendly reminder to slow down. Because she's making this nest for her eggs. And she's moving so fast that her eggs is going to slip through these cracks. This is just a reminder. Slow down. You're moving too swiftly. And you're leaving gaps. So slow down. And I pulled the baby card. Now you could be moving fast because you trying to do a new project, but still slow down. Just to say. This new project is gonna be in the making. Um I pull the T Wall's card to be successful in completion, meaning no gaps left. Very motivated to find the spiritual self, honor, justice, and leadership, victory, and successful in legal matters. This card also represents the justice card. Clarity, truth, cause, and effect. So, um, make sure this is finished and completed before you worry about new projects. Pull the four diamonds. See the man peeking out the window of his home. Hesitation to help others. And I see this as hesitation to come out the home. 
preoccupied preoccupied with material possessions. Um, and I pulled the misfortune. This is a misfortune that he's hitting himself. It's a misfortune that he values materialistic things rather than going out into the world to see what else the world has to offer. Um, helping others brings more than any materialistic possession you could have. It brings a sense of being. Um, getting out this box that he secluded himself in is a misfortune. Needs to come out this box. Stop looking out this window and come out the box. I pull the Uros card. Strength, home love, speed, energy, untamed potential, great energy, freedom. He needs freedom from this box that he secluded himself in, looking out of this window. Action. The action is when he step outside this box. Courage. He needs courage because something is holding him in there. Wisdom. He's going to find wisdom when he's free himself. This card also represents the high priestess in a voice. Something is telling him, come out. Intuition. He's not following that intuition. And he's going to find that divine truth once he steps foot outside this paradigm. So don't let this box be the downfall of your misfortune. Come outside that box. Today I pull from my Isis cards, my Oracle deck. Y'all remember these? And this card is the initiation card. And it says, we are being initiated into the divine mysteries of light, love, and power. There are moments of profound challenge. The key is to find the light within the challenge. The opportunity for growth that can transform any challenge into an experience of healing. With compassion and cleverness, you are not burned during your challenges. You shall thrive. And that is your reading for today. I am love. We are love. Thank you for watching.